Hey guys, Jazz back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about um, theme diamonds that just released. Every team basically is a theme diamond. What's pretty cool about this, not all the overalls are the same because obviously some teams don't have as many good cards. Like the Bill have one elite card to throw into the set and the rest of them are golds. Again, that means that some random golds might have a lot of value. So it might not be the worst time to open packs. I think golds are going to have a lot of value. So even if you're getting bad pulls, they're going to have higher value. So it's not a terrible time to open packs just because for the most part, these packs have been horrible this year. You've been getting a lot of golds. Now golds have some good value. So that's the only thing. I don't know if you guys want me to open up a, um, some of those packs to see exactly how what's in them and how good they are and how often you pull elites. We can do that. Um, but again, I think if you are going to open up packs, I would say hold on and see which team has like some becomes expensive because sometimes random teams and random players become really expensive. So it might be good to hold on, wait and see, and then see the market and then look at a team be like, holy shit, this team has a lot of goals that go for like 5k plus. Well, then you should open the, the um, packs for that team. But that's not what we're here for. I'm going to tell you guys what's going on right now. Whenever a new promo comes out, it happens with everything. Whenever a new promo comes out, people see a shiny new toy. Oh my god, look at these players. And the good thing is that all these players power up to 90 overall. So even if they're, I don't know if I just mentioned that. Uh, uh, this card gets up to a 90 overall. You just have to keep powering it up. And I like it because it's like some players that we haven't seen, like Joe Jervis. Like these guys are who are not real, most of these guys are not like real legends. So it's nice to see some of the old players coming back to the game, like Adam Timmerman for us. The Rams actually have the Master, which is 93 overall. Kurt Warner, you have to complete all these to get it. But this is what happens. Everybody sees a shiny new toy. Oh, my God, Team Diamonds. What happens? When everybody's focusing on one thing, this is what you got to know, that there's a money-making opportunity somewhere else. So everybody right now is focused on Team Diamonds. And what's happening is the elites that are not going into the sets are probably going for dirt cheap. Elites, anything that doesn't have to do with core elites or anything is dirt cheap right now. It's time to buy training. It's time to buy cards. Because one thing I just told you guys that all those guys have power-ups. Everybody's going to want to power all those cards up. What do you need to do power-up? You need to buy cards and quick sell them. So right now, a lot of cards are down. Like, um, um, I think the 88s were going for like a 140. They're down to 125 right now. You get them for cheaper. Obviously, if you, if you filter down a little bit, you'll see them for cheaper. You probably could sit here, and some will pop for a lot less than that. I think a really good... Well, I just put 88 or 89. But look, I think the best thing to do, in my opinion, is buy these and just hold on. And as you guys can see, these, I would filter them through the like the flashbacks. Some of them are going for like 59K. Like I was just sitting here, and there was a bunch up for like 60K, whatever like that. So again, just keep cycling through here. Heavyweights... You get a lot of cheap. Like again, these are going for like 80k, guys. So a lot, a lot of guys are dumping all these cards. A lot of people have been hoarding cards. So you could just sit here, get these cards. Um, uh, there's so many on the block right now that 86 to 87. If you just put heavyweights, it doesn't filter them. You have to like literally go offense and defense. That's how much the market has been flooding, flooding right now. So. That's something to keep in mind. I, I mean, I would wait to, like, people were putting these for, like, 59, 58. There was a bunch. You could just buy them. I would buy the card and wait and see what happens because everybody's going to need training. Maybe the, the these cards go back up to 80, 85K. Who knows? So if you're buying it for 59 then you sell them for 80-something, you're going to make, like, 15, 20K each card you buy. So I wouldn't say convert them, com like, exactly right now into training, but you just hold them in your binder. See if they go up in price back up a lot. Sell them that way. Or you can... Um, we're going to go to 84. We're going to see some of the Legends. The Legends are really cheap. Cards in general are just cheap right now. Anything that doesn't have to do with the... Pro Even the, the cards that are going into the thing aren't that expensive. I think it's the gold players that are the ones that are going up. I haven't even seen cards that are going in the sets going up. Because if you see Todd Gurley, I don't think his price had gone up that much. Um, let's go running back. Oh, my God. Just all... But yeah, like even the cards, I think a lot of people have been hoarding cards so much that that's what's happening. And I think is that, um, yeah, like Zeke, I don't, I'm not sure if Zeke goes into sets, but his price is going down. I don't know what's happening. Todd Gurley's price has been holding steady. I mean, some were up for even cheaper, like 110 before I started recording this video. There were some up for a lot cheaper. Like they're starting to get bought up. So his price is starting to skyrocket because he does go into set. He's the highest one to go into set. But I think a lot of people have been hoarding cards. 
But yeah, this is what, what you got to do. Buy these cards because, again, some of these cards were going for crazy amounts. Like, I bought a Jerry Rice for, like, 28k or something like that so you could filter down to like the best thing to do is filter down to like a, a like legends or something you see they're going even cheaper probably put all offense and all defense but again there's so many cards hitting the auction house i don't know if you have to filter them in now nah, you don't have to filter down anymore so if you get these for like 30k again you could hold on to them and the people all these people start needing training cards air all the cards start getting bought up because that's what holds a baseline in general for like the overalls is their training value so whatever the training value is right now it'll start to rise the cards back up once everybody starts focusing back on training right now everybody's focused on the theme diamonds getting these cards throwing away all the other cards they have in their binder because everybody's just laser focused on the theme diamonds and that's when you can get really good deals on other cards uh you know even the 81s every everything it's a good filter to sit if you get with like 9 or 10k um legends only they don't have 80s so you're only getting 81s and you could just sit here probably get some cheaper ones Again, the prices might continue to go down leading into tomorrow with Legends Sunday. Tomorrow is a good time to probably sit here because the prices are already down. And when the Legends come out tomorrow, they should really bottom, bottom out these bottom cards. So it's some good to get training. Again, there's no weekend league this weekend. So people aren't going crazy to buy like these super overall teams. Everybody just focus on theme diamonds right now. So it's a good time to hold up, buy a lot of these cards, hold on to, to weekend league comes out again. Everybody's trying to power their cards up, get their teams as good as possible. And the market starts to go up again. So again... These next two days is going to be a great time to invest in buying cards. I think 84 to 85 Legends are like some of my, that's like my best best spot to sit. And again, this is a good price. 84 to 85s are going for a lot more. And if you just take out the Legends and just make it normal, let's see what the normal base price is. But everything's down across the board. That's a good thing, though. That's a good, that means it's a, it's, it's a time that the market goes down, training cards, cost goes down. So if you're looking to buy cards just to get your team better, this is a great time to do that. If you're looking to, you know, make some coins, I would say buy a lot of these cards up. Hold on to them. They say 70K, but again, you filter it down with a program like Flashbacks that has a lot going on or whatever. And you can see them. Uh, just sit and wait. There'll be cards posted for like 50. I was um, actually, uh, obviously, probably could filter it down a little bit more. Jefferson's were going to offense. Prices are starting to go up a little bit back up. But again, you, you just sit here. There's no rush. I believe leading it for today, a lot of people are going to open packs. A lot of people are going to flood the market with the cards they've been hoarding. And then leading into tomorrow, a lot of people, if they release good legends, they're going to buy a lot of packs. I think this is a great time for you to buy cards. Keep them in the binder and wait and see. If weekend league, if you have to wait until like around Wednesday, Thursday, when it's almost weekend league, just in general, prices will go up. These will probably go back up to 80-something K. Um... Or they might release something really good in training, and then you just use the cards for training and then get the cards. Again, right now, everybody's focused on this. Everything else is down, but that's just because something new and shiny came out. Everybody, this is just, this is how mud is. Everybody focus on them. When they release a, a next really good set, what happens when they release a new program that has sets like this? Training cost goes up because a lot of people like to do these these set, these, these little packs. So just keep that in mind, and obviously, with all the new cards that are coming out, all those guys have power-ups. That's Everybody's going to want to do those and power those cards up. That's a lot of power-up training. People are going to start buying cards just to quick sell them for the training, and the prices will go up on the market. This is a great time, and always focus. Remember, don't focus on what everybody else is doing. You have to know what the cost of everything else has been normally and then just buy them. And, and with the, how the training is this year with the store and stuff like that, it's never going to take a huge dive down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bounce right back quick just because of the packs that are in the stores and also with all, everything basically revolving around um, power-ups now. Almost everybody, like every card that came out today has a power-up. So that's 32 new cards out there with power-ups that people are going to want to train up. And conversely, if you're like trying to build a God Squad and you had a lot of coins like me, if I already wanted to, this would be a good time for me to build a good team because tomorrow you can see the prices already starting to crash on these. These are going for like 280. They're already down 50k, right? Let's say tomorrow legend release these cards that get pulled a lot more. These parts are probably going to be under 200k. They might be. That's great, and that's great for training because that's like 40 or under 40k if you get these for 200k, 90 overalls. So again. They're always a great investment for training or anything like that. Like, I'm going to really look into these tomorrow because I'm curious to see. They're already starting to crash in price. And when Legend Packs come out tomorrow and these cards start flying out the packs, I'm curious to see where these end up. So tomorrow is going to be a great day to snipe. I like the prices. 
But the thing is, I don't know, the market could snap back a lot faster than we think. Because again, once people start getting these cards actually in their possession, they might start trying to power these cards up and the market might start going up before tomorrow. So it's always a great time to just get a few snipes in where you can now. And then just, um, oh my God, oh, the slowness, the slow hands, the slow hands. Oh my God, it expired 50K. But this is what, you, what I'm talking about. They're going to be cards like this. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting something that fucking low. 50,000 for that, that was an amazing price. But that's what's going to be happening now, guys. The card, they, people are just going to be, you know, fire selling their cards. That's what happens with this. So sit on some of these um, overalls, even veterans right here, you can go. It's always good to get to the programs that, you know, that have nothing to do with what's going on and they aren't higher in cards. It's a good time to sit here and snipe these guys. So that's pretty much it. Focus on getting cards, holding on to them. Don't quick sell them yet for training. Wait and see what goes up more. If, if it's beneficial for you to actually sell them as, you know, once the, the market rises or it's beneficial, maybe they release a really good um, pack in the training store and then like the cost, you know, it, you know, you can get a lot more out of it by doing those. So just keep that in mind. Training has a lot of ways you can make money. The market always make sure not to always focus completely on what everybody else is doing. Whenever a new set or a new thing comes out, people throw away the old stuff. But again, somebody's trash eventually becomes treasure. The prices go back up eventually after the fire sell, and you can make a lot of coins. And this is gonna be with every promo. Every time a promo comes out, the same thing is gonna happen. You guys gotta focus in on stuff and know the prices and know when the prices are taking a huge dip. They're going to bounce back up, so you got to buy them up where you can, still can. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Till next time, guys.